Hello people, this is once again yours truly and this time with a tutorial on how to work your way around Native Instruments Studio Drummer. So let's drag in Contact 5 Studio Drummer now. First of all, you see there are three drum kits available. Garage kit, which is more rocky and yeah old schoolish you could say and session kit is more for pop rock and session kit is more for the heavier stuff and for each of those drum kits you first have a light version and then a full version and usually i tend to use the full version so let's just take the stadium kit <sighs> There we go. It takes a bit of time to load, unfortunately. While it's loading, let's just go through some of those options here. You got the grooves over here, which I never really use. And then the options here, you have some velocity settings and MIDI mapping and randomizing stuff. I really like the randomizing options. Put it on. I like to put a bit of time randomizing into it because then you don't have to put uh, quantization mistakes into the MIDI map itself to get it to play more human-like but just put a little bit of time randomizing and it does it automatically then let's go to the drum kit again now it's fully loaded and as you can hear you can't hear anything because you have to click this button and then you hear stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't play it at full velocity when you click in this view. Don't know why they choose to go that way, but whatever. Um, down here, you see some bleeding options for the overhead and the room mics for each single drum kit. So you can fiddle around with that, then, yeah, <clears throat> pretty straightforward. Now let's go to the mixer. The mixer is actually very basic. Uh, you have a mic channel for each kit piece. You know, you got the kick, the snare, hi-hat, toms, tambourine, cowbell. Here's the overhead stereo mic. And here's the overhead mono mic, and here you got the room. And then with those buttons, you can determine how far spread, uh, in this case, the overheads are uh, in the stereo field, or how thin spread they are, however you want to take it. Then if we go to buses, here you have the master bus, where all the channels are routed through. And then here you have a reverb bus, which is basically just a reverb as sound effect and you can mix it with uh, the buttons over here, the blue ones. Mm, for convenience sake, I'll just make a quick drum beat. Just give me a sec. Come on. Oh, there we go. Um, no. No. Huh? Huh? Alrighty. Uh, while I'm in the media map. I'll just show you how to make your own custom MIDI map because it works quite differently than in Superior Drummer. Because in Superior, uh, usually you just select a piece from the drum kits, then you click the Learn button on the bottom right corner 
of the plugin interface and then you click the MIDI key you want this kit piece to be on. In Studio Drama it works just the other way around. First you have to select by MIDI, uh, activate this button, then you click the MIDI key you want to put something on. So let's take this, see right now there's the claps on it. And now we can change it to be something else, for example the tamarine. And then also what kind of articulation. Then you click the hook and now it's there. Then you can also save it over here and yeah. Going back to the mixer, so reverb, yeah, send, you can mix it as with those buttons as I have told you, I think. Let's go back to the kit mics. Now, and down here in this section you have your effects. EQ, transient, compressor, tape saturation. If you go to the settings you have some more options. Here for the kick you have some more uh, microphone options. The mic inside the kick drum and outside the kick drum and the sub mic. Now you could solo the kick drum and just listen to each mic individually to know what it sounds like. Yeah. And then mix it accordingly. Then with the FX routing, you can choose the order the plugins are set in. Sadly, it doesn't give you very free options. There are just four settings. Well, you just have to figure out how to or what's working best for you. But don't worry, I will also show you how to multi-channel Studio Drummer. So you could mix it in your DAO. But for the sake of you understanding how everything actually works in this thing, I'll just still show you this stuff right here. <clears throat> so transient compressor tape EQ, that, that's not a bad setting. Let's go to transient, so this pretty much works the same way as the transient designer. As in superior drummer, I like to just turn on the sustain on the kick. makes it much tighter and then compressor you have here. Sadly, uh, all those plugins don't give you any meters, not for gain reduction, not for the volume, so you really have to listen carefully to what you're doing. It's kind of a curse, but also a blessing because it really teaches you at the same time to listen to what you're doing. So you don't only do what's always been working for you because all those settings you know that work well might not work quite the same way with different samples. For starters, I put the mix of the compressor to wet, so it's fully compressed. And yeah, then just choose all those settings to your liking. Attack time, I like to put a little slower. Yeah, I already talked about all this stuff earlier in my other tutorials. And then with the mix knob, you could set it to parallel compression or not compressed or fully compressed. Yeah. Then tape saturation, this is pretty cool. I like to give it a bit more warmth. It just adds this pleasant sounding saturation and a little bit more fullness in the low end. Then here you have the EQ, which is also kind of difficult to use. You know, again, you have to listen to what you're doing and sweep through all the frequencies because it doesn't show you all the frequencies. Oh, here are the frequencies, Blah. as well as the dBs and the Q. Yeah, this stuff you can figure out yourself just it's the same procedure as I've explained in all my other tutorials. You know, just boost an EQ band and find 
bad sounding frequencies and cut them out and then find good sounding frequencies and boost those unfortunately with just four bands yeah it's kind of difficult to give it a really detailed EQing but still that's how it is in here and that's how you can go about